You probably have no idea where that water you discard from your home finally ends up. Gathering together somewhere and what they are threatening maybe uh, some kilometers far away from them. The same goes for water bottles. Then the latrines which release waste into the environment whenever it rains. According to the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, even the strongest domestic sewage have over 99% water. The environment when it is uh, polluted with the fecal matter, the dust blow, the flies breed highly, and therefore this assist in the transmission of diseases. Having a badly uh, cleaned uh, uh, wastewater could give conditions for a uh, number for health risks. Like um, uh, diarrhea, dysentery, typhoid, cholera. UNEP is now uh, uh, saying that uh, this wastewater flows into rivers, lakes, dams and uh, shores. Uh, this, these flows are affecting the fauna and the flora. But in the chain, all these will return to the polluter. Sisi Geladio from the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institute, who's working on a project on waste recovery in Kampala and three other cities in Lima, Bangalore in India and Hanoi in Vietnam, explains that the rapid rise in human population is a major worry because water bodies across the world are under invasion. In uh, Kampala, you don't find uh, such strong uh, proximity of communities with uh, with uh, Lake Victoria, for instance, as this is the case with the with the lagoon in uh, in Cote d'Ivoire, uh, but it's coming close. We have uh, all around the, the swamps. There are, there are communities coming close and close. There is a lot of human activity and structures around Lake Victoria, including hotel businesses, homes, and beaches. Some of these are not within the limits stipulated by the National Environment Management Authority (NEMA). All lakes have a buffer zone or a protection zone. Lake Victoria particularly has a protection zone or buffer zone of 200 meters. Ideally, there should not be any activities being carried out within the 200 meter zone. But according to NEMA, there are some exceptions. And for this, one would need a special permit. NEMA indicates um, the activities that can be carried out and those that shouldn't be carried out and they indicate how those activities should be carried out in order to ensure the integrity of the lake. There are weaknesses in the monitoring of such legal ventures, although NEMA insists it is done as required. They ensure that they do not pollute the lake, and if you look at the lake along here, it is not polluted. Why? Because all the waste that is regenerated by this facility and, and a, several, a few other compliant ones is recycled and no waste comes to the lake. Number two, one of the requirements in the permit is to plant trees to ensure that there is no runoff and to ensure that there is no erosion or anything that comes into the lake and that's being adhered to. Sometimes contamination can't be avoided, even from these sacks of sand put up by those living within 200 meters to block the water. There are others who have made the lake their home, they wash from it. Some businesses even have toilets just 50 meters from the lake and end up polluting it. We encourage fish farming there, we encourage papyrus harvesting, and some of those who are illegally there, we are usually battling with them, evicting them, they come back, negotiating with them, sometimes it's a challenge. Research is being done on contaminants around the lake by the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institute. Work is under the way, and um, any human settlement that will be, will be coming closer to the, to the Lake Victoria or to other natural water bodies uh, is bringing more, more threats on the quality of water. Crops grown near the water sources suffer the effect of pollution. This not only puts the population by the lake at risk, but also others who may be buying their crop. Gladio asks governments to get more involved in protecting the environment. Local governance actors tried to uh, get funds for implementing some wastewater treatment plants. Some factories, including those of soda and beer companies, have treatment plants, though there are challenges. This treatment plant is able to treat only a certain amount of the wastewater, mm -hmm. and many other wastewater are coming out of the treatment plant. So the communities can do something mm -hmm. at their own level by 
cleaning the things, putting in place very simple facilities that holds the waste and holds the wastewater. By the problem is attracting global attention, and the United Nations Environment Program, based in Nairobi, Kenya, has put up the Global Wastewater Initiative. Sensitization of the communities is now important more than ever. But things are uh, at a, at a grade, so they could become worse or they could be stopped at the yard. UNEP says wastewater, when properly managed, can be a huge water source. The nutrients could supply much of fertilizer normally required for crop production, and wastewater sludge can also be used in agriculture as a soil conditioner or fertilizer and to manufacture building materials or as biofuels. Florence Alimba, NTV.